Growing up in Pennsylvania, we started out like most kids during their childhood. Getting together with family and friends, spending the weekends up north drowning waxworms for stocked fish, rolling up dough balls and putting them on your hook while your parents stood above the hole, chumming the trout with bread. But as time went on, we became more intrigued at the older generations carrying their fly poles up and down the stream. Showing off that picture-perfect dry fly cast right before dark as the green drake filled the sky over Kettle Creek in Potter County. We always watched and thought, man, that looks fun. So at about 10 years old, Caleb and I picked up fly rods, throwing green drakes and stimulators until they were completely waterlogged. Then we would strip them under like a wet fly, swinging them, catching stocked fish until our fingers looked like raisins. That was when our passion for fly fishing started and grew to what it is today. That's why you still fish dirty water. <laughs> That's my best fish this year <laughs> in a long time. Today is a little different though. Who would have ever thought a pink fly could catch as much as a natural hare's ear or pheasant tail? But it does. Today we focus on getting out and sharing laughs on the stream, telling stories and spending quality time with our friends, getting friends into fly fishing and making new friends along the way. That is what fishing is to us. It's not about going out and catching the biggest fish or a hundred fish. It's about sharing the stream with good people and making memories that will last a lifetime. So they just, it just came up to you guys and like sniffed you and was like, hey, how you doing? What's up guys? Uh, just out here today with my cousin Nick and my buddy Kevin and we're, uh, we're into some fish so I'm going to try and put a little video together for you guys. Not sure if I'm just going to kind of do like a video of like a vlog or just a video of just a bunch of fish action so we'll, uh, we're going to keep working our way upstream here and see what, uh, what else we can get into but we're, we're into them. It's a good day so stick with us. Is that a wild fish? Yep. Morning guys. So we're working our way trout stream here um, we started down low and we worked our way up and beautiful water we just got we just got a bunch of rain but we're not catching any fish so there's a feeder stream that flows in right here and we're gonna we're fishing up it a little ways and we're seeing some like when we come to the deep runs uh, there's some there's some trout laying in here but they're just they're not feeding and I'm not sure, not sure what's going on, but we're working up a sweat. It's like 80, it's supposed to get up to like 83 or 85 degrees today. But I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna fish our way up through here, and then we're gonna go back to the truck and head down lower on the stream and see if we can get into a few more fish. 
I don't know, the conditions are perfect. We're just, they're real spooky. And I don't know, this stream gets pressure, so I don't know if maybe, maybe they're getting a little bit too much pressure this year, or if uh, it has anything to do with the, the low, the drought we had last summer it was pretty brutal on a lot of these brook trout, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with it here and keep keep at it. All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> Ready to go home. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a rod? <laughs> Summers are always a little brutal. Between battling low water, warm water, poison ivy, and even a few broken rods. But honestly, those are the real reasons we are out there. Getting out of the house, spending some time away from work, and spending time with friends doing what we love. Catching fish. It's just the bonus. Dude, that's a good fish too.